go in for the song? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm finally back. We survived. What did we survive? Case Verona. Oh. So yes, I had a couple of weeks off because we all got we got um, the C word. We all started with this one. Yes, so Harper brought it home. Thanks for that present. <laughs> and then I was the last one to get it. So I only got out the other side a few days after everyone else. So it's, been yes. a, it's been a week since I've got rid of it. and Yeah, we still feel crap. Just tired. Just so tired, hey. Anyway, so you guys have been wanting an evening routine vlog forever. So I thought I would do that now. I saw on Instagram on uh, the other week, we went to Queensland, didn't we? Oh, what yeah. is happening? What is happening? <laughs> and we had a good chat around about like our goals. Cause you know, the kids weren't there. So we could actually finish a conversation. We actually, yeah. Yeah. Talk to each other was kind of, Yeah. haven't done that in a while. Yeah. But um, it was really good because we talked about you know how like our evening routines were just getting really intense and stuff. So we kind of came up with this thing and we decided to call it fairy time. So now at six o'clock, we turn the screens off, all the overhead lights off. And it just really helps to get the girls like winding down for bed. And it helps me too, because I'm very sensitive to light. So I sleep with like an eye mask on. I sleep with Ray music, eye mask on, as you guys will see all this stuff. And he will just lay down and he's asleep. Plus you spray the room with a lot of stuff. I don't know. I what spray you do. the room with like my beds, my bed mist, my sleep mist. I want to show you guys what we do, and we managed to change our routine up, and it's been so much better because this is the time the girls get a little bit better. So yes, and we do coloring in and all the fun stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Please let me know below if you'd like to see more routine stuff. So it's currently five o'clock. I'm gonna quickly do some washing, like fold it. I like to try and at least fold or put on some washing once a day, um, just to keep on top of everything. So I'm gonna do that and then tidy up a little bit. I like to do a quick PM routine tidy and honestly just really helps me keep on top of the housework. So I'll do it in the AM. I'll like unload the dishwasher, clean all the benches up, you know, from the morning rush and tidy up the lounge room, the bedrooms and stuff like that. And then in the PM, I also do another tidy. So go make sure the benches are cleaned up, the lounge room, kids' toys, um, fold some washing, and then I get stuck into making dinner. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Um, this routine just really helps. It's like, so I don't feel like I'm constantly cleaning, but it's two decent, you know, routines throughout the day and it just stops the mess piling up and getting out of control. Best friend didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drift in the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you. Just thinking we would do this in Hi guys, time to make dinner. I'm making something in the thermo tonight. Where's my little recipe book? This one's my favorite. This is called the healthy mix. When we all had Rona, I literally lived on soups. That was really, really good. So tonight we are having, where is it? So this is one of my favorite recipes. I absolutely love it. Um, and you can make it gluten-free, dairy-free, all that stuff. You basically just need bacon, chicken, and like things like coconut milk. So really good, healthy stuff. And it is delicious. I get the Barilla gluten-free spaghetti. It is so delicious. Um, and it's super simple. Just passata, some spices, lastly onion and garlic powder, coconut milk, um, and then this is the homemade stock I make in the thermo. So good. And what else? Pepper, water, just like chicken and bacon and stuff like that. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going, no control. You push me, then you pull me back in. Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works. Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin. I will keep on 
trying to You give me a sign Give me a sign Oh, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more You leave me hanging, begging for more Think that I'm addicted to this Can't resist to be a little risky and go For it cause I want you close I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering You know I'd do anything to be in your arms again So give me a sign Give me a sign Oh, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more Talking to you Talking to Here we go again Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in So give me a sign So this is where we do a little bit of colouring in. So I've got the diffuser oh, on. So good. Like adult colouring in books. This is actually really good for us because that means we're not on our phone. We're just, you know, Ryan takes it very seriously. You want me a little helper here? Yeah. Um, very relaxing. He doesn't like you. <laughs> <laughs> Give me 15 minutes and then. But it's a good way to unwind. I'm ready for the next activity, but. <laughs> next activity. It's, um, yeah, it gets the girls ready for bed. Steph can't colour in the lines, put it that way. <laughs> but it, it helps me, especially like anxiety wise. Yeah, I just think it's really important that, you know, it's like with, I always say this Next. with work. So if things aren't working well in your business, you're going to do a quarterly review, you're going to have a business meeting and fix the problem. But in life, we don't do that. We don't have a quarterly review. We don't look at our life and be like, what parts of our life or home life or routines aren't working and how can we make them better? So I think it was really good that we got to have that chat in Queensland and how we could like implement this fairy time. We just called it fairy time because it's kind of cute. So we got these and then we got the, the texters from Typo. Can I do the So before um, I go upstairs to like do the bath and bedtime routine, I just make sure down here is all done. So I've got the dishwasher on, all the benches are tidy. Did the clean up the playroom really quick. And yeah, it just makes life a lot easier. Tonight's been a bit like later than usual. Normally I would probably be in my PJs by the time I put the kids to bed, but we went out for a late lunch and it just kind of all rolled into one. Anyways, I want to wash my makeup off um, and show you a little bit of my skincare. And then Mr. Pace and I usually watch a bit of like a movie or <laughs> we are so different in taste, like Ryan likes to watch this doc he wanted to watch this doc the other day of elon musk i don't know if that's his name but i'm sure it's interesting but it's just not what i'm into like i want to watch murder and like drug lords and just all the messed up stuff and he wants to watch like action and how pencils are made that's not really what i'm into so but we're getting better we're finding some docos we like um but i struggle with movies because i really like 
real life stuff so don't go i like to do like the self-love affirmation cards and for the girls at night i they choose one each and i read it to them it's really cute so that's what we do so my pm routine and my am routine is pretty much the same but anyways i use the lust super fruit cleanser love this it helps cleanse your skin but it doesn't like strip it so i use that and then i use my serums um, I use hyaluronic acid vitamin C. Oh. <gasps> wow! Just dropping shit. I hope I didn't break. Oh, it still works, guys. Okay. I use vitamin. Sorry, I use hyaluronic acid, vitamin B, and vitamin C, and then I finish up with the probiotic cream, which is super nice. The new containers aren't they pretty? Anyway, so that's what I use. So I'm gonna do that now. My skin has gotten a lot better. Thank goodness. Um, my video next week will probably be about my gut health, which I want to talk about, like my, my relationship with alcohol, well, acne, all the all the things, and all the changes I've been making. So that will be next week's video. But um, yeah, getting there. Thank goodness. Should we do cards first? Oh, we're neighbors. Right. We're neighbors. We're neighbors. Our rooms are next to. Oh, I'm very clever. Yeah, because our rooms. All right, who's choosing a card first? Um, we'll go Kim. Because Harper choose the card that I did. No, she can't. I choose I choose it. Okay. You chose it? No, Willow chose it tomorrow, but she can. You mean she chose it yesterday? Yes, yeah, so and Willow can do it today. Okay. Says, I move my body with love. I am grounded and move my body in ways that feel good to me. Energy is limitless. I deserve to feel full of energy and endless vitality as I relax and gently open my heart. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get now that I'm like 31, I use like any excess I pop on the back of my hands because I don't want to get like old lady hands. Anyways, I'll give you guys my last discount code below. It's always active. It's what makeup I use and everything. Back of the hands, ladies. Back of the hands. This is what we waited for. I do get asked a lot about book recommendations and I always read every night when I, you know, am not immersed in a movie with Ryan, but it's really really good to find reads that you enjoy so like i have a mixture between like self-development and business i do have some amazing ones in there too about if you're someone who really wants to cut back on drinking or stop drinking read this naked mind it is life-changing like even if you just want to cut back and it's got no judgment it is the best book like it's amazing some other books i really love is the 5 a.m club that's a really good one if you want to try and get into waking up earlier i love james smith's books he's just hilarious i love his stuff um samantha wills is a really good book for people who have their own business but even if you don't or if you want to start your own business definitely would read that one um what else high performance habits is another one i love what else do i love Miracle Borning is another one if you want to start getting up early. But yeah, there's, I've got so many books I could recommend you guys. At the moment, I'm reading a book called How to Do the Work, and that's really good. That's all about like childhood trauma and stuff. Really good book. But if you want me to do like a book dedicated video, I can definitely do that because I love, love them. And I also use my Kindle now because um, I was struggling to find like a nightlight that wasn't keeping me awake. So the Kindle's been really good, but I do prefer a physical book. Those are the books I would probably recommend first if you want to have some good reads. Really good. So here's my bedside table. So that's my Kindle. Love this. Um, and yeah, the books are really cheap on there too. So if you're trying to budget and you don't have room for physical books, definitely re would recommend that. I've started reading this too. Um, I've just been looking into like using more natural products and stuff. Like I'm not going to be bloody amazing. I'll still get my hair dyed and all that stuff, but it's been really interesting and I really like this book so far. I've got one of my notebooks for like nighttime journaling as well. I've got my pen and then I got this diffuser and I just pop in some of the sleep oil. So I'll be doing that a bit later. 
But yes, that's what I do. I'm just going to go downstairs now and quickly take my nighttime supplements and then watch some TV. I'm pray couldn't tell you what's in his bedside table. This is my bedside table <laughs> and looks like I have a plant, <laughs> two hair elastics and my watch is over there. Your watch. Yeah. Very good. That's my bedtime. What's your bedtime routine, Ryan? Tell the tell the peeps how you fall asleep so effortlessly. Every bloody night. Just turn night. the TV on. It does my head in. Watch something that you want to try to get through because it just won't happen. TV I series. I don't know how you do it. T the reason I watch movies because I always fall asleep to movies. TV series, I get too invested. Ryan's got this skill where he can fall asleep multiple times throughout a movie and wake up and be maybe miss like half an hour and you'll still be able to just keep watching. And I'm like, how do you know what happened? I just how do you know what's happened? It's just, it's like when you skim read a book. I skim watch a movie. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had his skill, honestly. I am always had a lot of problems sleeping. Like, I'm not a good sleeper. I just really struggle at like switching off. And I know it probably has a lot to do with my anxiety and all that stuff. But fun fact, your girl's got sleep apnea as well. But because I've been really like looking after my health and stuff, it's all right at the moment. Uh, so I'm not on like a CPAP machine or anything like that. But when I was 25 kilos heavier, I really struggled. I remember waking up multiple times, um, like really struggling with breathing, which is scary. So that was one of the other reasons I really kind of over overhauled my lifestyle because, you know, my asthma was suffering, my sleep apnea, all the fun stuff. But I find, you know, not having any overhead lights on. So I've just got like the, these little lights here. Um, and it's really helped the kids too, because like when you think about it as humans, we're like our brain, when all these lights are on, it thinks it's daytime, especially our lights, they're really bright. So I have heaps of lamps, but I used to just have like no light bulbs in them. It was just for show. So I went and bought some light bulbs <laughs> and now they work, but yeah, it's really helped the kids kind of normally they'd be up multiple times trying to resist sleep and look there's still nights there like that but it's a lot easier um and yeah it's, it's working so much better as i said you know things in your business don't work out you try to find a solution and it should be the same in our home life in our home routine with your family like really sit down and don't be scared to be like how can we make this routine or this time or this day better for us because i think it's really important some little things I always make sure I do is um, I don't have my phone after 8 30 I even put the phone like I would like to actually start putting my phone across the room on charge but I put it like down on the floor away from me so like if I wake up during the night I'm not like tempted to check emails or Instagram or something and I read from like nine o'clock onwards as you guys know I wake up really early I usually wake up at 4.35 o'clock, so I like to read usually from 9 p.m. onwards. So then you'll find reading really will make you, like, fall asleep easier. Um, and even, like, just doing the things like how we coloured in before and having the lights out and, like, having that chill time it really, really helps. So, yes, I hope this video has helped you guys. Ron and I are going to watch a movie. He's At the moment, he's got this on. Return to space. I'm not really keen for that. What are we watching? Um, we'll find something to watch. I'm not watching Return to Space. I already watched it. Oh. So educational. Three no, years from now. In his three boxes right now. Three years from now, the first female is going to be landing on Mars. Ah, uh, the moon. Sorry. Is this true? That's what they're aiming for. Oh. You'd know this if you watched the doco. I don't want to watch about space. I can't even deal with my own bloody planet as it is, let <laughs> alone the whole universe. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you want to see some more routines, let me know. And I will see you guys next week. Bye. Ryan, what are you doing? <laughs>